Hello all, welcome to session 12 of csharp.net training series. In this session, I am going to explain about the build errors which occur while running the csharp code and practically demonstrate the necessary steps we have to take when these build errors occur. So let's get started. So here we have this uh, Visual Studio ID and in that uh, we have this program written already. And uh, this program was working fine, right? In the previous session, I have written this program and it's working fine. If I if I run this code, okay, if I run this code, what will happen? This particular text will be printed in the output, okay? So let's run this. And you see a command prompt came and uh, whatever the text that is there in the console.write line is properly printing in the output, right? This It's working fine. So there are no problems here. But intentionally, I'll do something now so that uh, this particular program will result in build errors. Okay. So what I will do is I'll just remove the semicolon. Okay. You see at the end of the console dot right line, there is a semicolon symbol. I'll just remove that. Okay. Intentionally. You see what will happen in English sentence if you don't don't put a full full stop. Okay. Before the next sentence starts, you have to put a full stop. Right. Similarly, in this uh, C sharp program also, before the next statement starts, you have to end this previous statement with a semicolon. Okay. That's what is the rule. But here I'm just going against the rule uh, where I'm removing the semicolon. Mm, though the, there is another statement here and uh, just to separate this statement from this statement, this statement has to end with semicolon, but I am removing. Intentionally I'm removing so that uh, if I run this program without the semicolon available here, I'm going to get the build errors. Okay, let me run this code. You see this time I didn't get the Arun Motori printed in the output console. Rather I got this dialogue from Microsoft Visual Studio ID is stating that there were build errors. Would you like to continue and run the last successful build? Okay, still there is an option guys. You see what what the Microsoft Visual Studio ID is saying? There are build errors. Okay, there are problems in the code, but would you like to continue and run the last successful build? Okay, if you can see here guys, whenever you get a build errors in this Visual Studio ID, there are two possible options. One of the option is you can run the previous build code, which was working, okay? Uh, when the code was working, you got Arun Motor printed in the output, right? Do you want to run that version? Previous version, if you want to run, okay? This is the latest change in the code, but previous unchanged code, if you want to run or not, it's giving me an option, guys. Okay, if I select S, yes, despite of having the build errors, it will not choose this latest version of the code. Rather, the previous version of the code, where when we got the output, right? That code will be running. You see? You see, still I'm getting the output because I chosen to run the previous version of the code where build errors were not there. Okay, this latest version of the code has been ignored and the previous version of the code has been executed. Visual Studio ID is so smart that it is maintaining the previous version of the code kind of thing. Okay, so again, let me run this again. I'm I'm going to get the build errors. Okay, there were build errors. Would you like to continue and run last successful build? Last time I showed you uh, how to run the uh, previous version of the code and uh, how to get the output despite of having the builders in the latest version of the code. Okay, so now this time I don't want to select yes, guys. Okay, I'll select no. Okay, if I select no, what will happen? It will not run the previous version of the code, rather, it will run the latest version of the code. And uh, definitely, there are build errors, the error details will be displayed in the output. Just select no here. You see, this time the previous version of the code has not run in late instead. The latest version of the code has been executed, which has a uh, build errors. Because of that build errors, you see, I got uh, <clears throat> some error in the output saying some er error in the output uh, has come saying that semicolon is expected. Okay, so semicolon is expected at which line? Thirteenth line. You can see here line number thirteen. This project, okay, first demo project. You can see the project here, first demo project, uh, and uh, and uh, file name is first sample dot cs file in that thirteenth line. Where is the 13th line? This is the 13th line, right? Here, what it is saying, semicolon is expected is saying. So with the details, I'll put a semicolon, it's going to work fine, right? So this what, uh, these are the two options uh, that are coming, guys, okay? Whenever you get builders in the Visual Studio ID, the Visual Studio ID will give you two options where you can run the previous uh, version of the code which was running fine, or you can, uh, you don't want to run the previous version rather you want to run the latest code which has a build errors uh, to see what exactly is going wrong. Okay, there are two possibilities. So again, I will remove the semicolon guys. Okay, I want to show you one more thing when I with the build errors if I say if I run the code, uh, you see this dialogue will come definitely. So never ever select this option. Okay, I just want to give you a heads up where never ever select this option Do not show this dialogue again. 
don't select this option okay you will be in trouble guys because every time if you select this option and select s option here what happens next time onwards is even though you change the code the previous version of the whenever you get build errors it will, it will not show you the errors okay it will run the previous version of the code and you will be in an assumption that everything is working fine okay so never ever select this option guys okay it's better be careful and simply say no okay so that you can see the errors and you can correct the errors in the code okay that's what is a better process so hope guys you understood uh, what exactly are the build errors and what are the necessary actions we have to take when this build errors occurs in visual studio id while running the c sharp code so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover one more concept of this uh, uh, c sharp in visual studio id till then see you bye bye